Sad day here at CBS. Legendary newsman Morley Safer has died. The 60 Minutes correspondent retired just last week after decades at CBS News, and what a career it was. Six days. American losses. Morley Safer covered the world for over half a century, and he did it in a way that not only touched lives, he actually changed them. His reporting from Vietnam helped shift the way America thought about the war. Just as the medevac came in, the boy died. He was 17. In 1965, he showed U.S. Marines burning down a village, sending terrified civilians running from their homes. Morley Safer, CBS News, near the village of Cam Ni. It was a new way of covering war, realistic and bleak. Safer himself was Canadian, but he settled in New York after joining 60 Minutes in 1970. Did you ever hold up anyone? In 1983, his report on an inmate named Linnell Geeter became one of the show's proudest moments. Safer and his team uncovered new evidence showing Geeter had been wrongly convicted of armed robbery in Texas. Sentenced to life, Safer's report led to Geeter's release. Safer had a taste for the lighter stuff, too. He traveled the world covering everything from the tango craze in Finland to the British passion for gardening. He chronicled good food, fine wine, and great cars. In one of 60 Minutes' most popular editions, he interviewed the Muppets. I thought 60 Minutes was a high-class show. <laughs> and he took on the art world twice. First in the 90s, when he questioned the value of modern art. It's a, a, a white rectangle. Right. Then again in 2012. Kitsch, the cute, the clumsy, and the incomprehensible. And Safer was himself an artist. He carried art supplies when he traveled and spent hours in his downtime painting his many hotel rooms. Room service closes, Safer begins. Over his many years with 60 Minutes, Safer was honored with dozens of the most prestigious awards in journalism. For a man who enjoyed telling stories, he always said, there was no better job in the world. Morley Safer was not exactly big on Twitter. He only tweeted nine times, but <laughs> this last tweet was on Sunday night as 60 Minutes was honoring him with a special going over his entire career. And in it, he said, it's been a wonderful run, and I want to thank the millions of people who have been loyal to our 60 Minutes broadcast. Thank you, Morley Safer's last tweet. His health was in decline when his uh, retirement was announced last week. Sunday's special was said to have been long planned, and he did watch it, we're told, from his home, where he died this morning. Jeff Fager, the executive producer of 60 Minutes, talked about the last conversation he had with Safer during an appearance on CBSN this morning. In typical Morley fashion, he said uh, that he was so grateful that for everything we've done for him. But I told him, Morley, we can't do enough for you mm -hmm. considering all that you've done for us. Mm -hmm. And he has done so much. I mean, his, his life at 60 Minutes, his life at CBS News had such an impact on all of us and how we cover stories and the kind of stories he covered and, and the most incredible body of work. So we remember Morley Safer, you know, and it was really his writing, I think, that set him apart. He was able to tell a story in such a way, and it didn't matter if it was about the Vietnam War or about a uh, pool game with Jackie Gleason. The writing was always the key for him, and uh, he will be missed. The writing and also his ability to affect change, you yeah, know. I mean, absolutely. he changed a lot of people's lives through this journalism. A lot of consequence from his work. Yeah, he'll be missed. And look for much more on the life of Morley Safer tonight on the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. That's at 6.30 after the CBS 4 News at 6.